Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to export camera track from 3D Equalizer to After Effects. So now we are inside 3D Equalizer and this is a sort here. So I have tagged this sort inside 3D Equalizer and also I have oriented about this scene inside 3D Equalizer. So you can see here. So here just I have also oriented about scene inside 3D Equalizer. So now again just we have to click on this lineup view here. So before starting this video, if you want, you can also watch my previous video, camera tracking inside 3D Equalizer. So link I have given in description. So now just I am going to export this camera track from 3D Equalizer to After Effects. So for this, we have to click on the 3D E4. Then we have to click on Export Project. Then we have to click on After Effects. Now just we have to click on Export File. Then after this, just we have to select folder where you want to save your this exported file. Then select this folder 3D E2 After Effects. Then downside, just simply you can give file name. Finally, we have to click on OK. So now project successfully exported. So before exporting, one more important thing here. So again, just we have to click on this camera. This is your frame rate. So this is again important things for After Effects. Now I'm going to import this camera track inside After Effects. So now we are inside After Effects. Then first we have to import our camera track which just we have exported from 3D Equalizer. So for this we have to click on this file. Then a script. Then just click on this run script because while you will export camera track from 3D Equalizer to After Effects. So this will just create a script file here. So now again this is our main folder. Inside this, this is our folder. So this is our file. So just we have to select and just we have to click on open. So now here in this project panel, if you will see this is our composition and this is your composition information, which is this is frame size, pixel spec ratio and frame rate. Now after this, just we have to double click on this composition. So this will automatically load inside this timelines here. Now you can see here. So now here just type imported but this 3D player camera track inside after effect. Then after this, we have to import image sequence. So for this, just simply we have to click on file. Then import and click on file and just select your image sequence. So this is your image sequence or you can see the background plate. So just we have to select the starting frame. Then downside we have to check the sequence options. Now we have to click on import. So now if you will select this image sequence inside the project panel. So you will get this image sequence information. So this is frame size, pixel spec ratio and also this frame rate. So this frame rate should match with this composition's frame rate. So now again if you will select this footage so you will get this 30 fps because by default after effects import any image sequence at 30 fps okay but we have to change according to our this composition frame rate so before exporting from 3d player you can change this frame rate according to requirement so now again just select this image sequence then right click and just click on interpret footage then main and just select frame rate so assume frame rate which is 24 now just we have to click on ok then after this, just we have to select this image sequence and just we have to place into our this composition here. So at last, just we have to place. Now just lock this image sequence here. So now here, if you will see, so these are our eight points or you can see our locator which you have tracked inside 3D Equalizer and these are our camera scene, all these things here. Then after this, just we have to select all points and just we can adjust size and so here I have selected all point now press S just resize this one here so point 2 so now easily just we can select any point according to requirement so again control A now press U now control shift A so deselect all layers here so before starting further work first we have to save over the After Effects project now we have to click on file save and just save this After Effects file click on save then after this just I am going to import any 2d elements or 3d element inside this camera track here so first just I am going to import any 2d elements so for this again just we have to click on file import file and just select your 2d elements then after this just we have to create a new compositions because this is actually just a, a chroma sort here 
now just I'm going to remove this green screen, then we will place into our this a camera tracking compositions here, okay? Now just first we have to remove this green screen here. Now again we have to select this 3D compositions. Then after this go to this project panel and just select this footage composition and just place into over this compositions here. So now you will get this ever actually object inside this scene here. Then after this just we have to select point where you want to place this object 2D or 3D. So any object just you can place according to these point positions here. So maybe suppose just I want to place it here. So this ever may be point whichever this one here. So just any point just you can select according to requirements. So maybe suppose this point. So suppose here just I want to place. So just select this footage and just place it here. Then after this first because this is a 2D layer. So just we have to convert this 2D layer into 3D layer. Just convert into 3D layer. So if you are not getting this icon then simply you can click on this option. Toggle switch. So you will get the 3D options here. Again control Z. So now again this is actually just 2D layer. So just simply what we can do. So just we have to place this anchor point at this layer bottom here. So again just take this pane behind tool and just select this anchor point and just place it here. Now after this convert this layer into 3D layer. Now again hold shift and just connect with this point here. So this will automatically take this position. So now if you will see here this object is properly just placed at this point here. Then after this if you want you can easily just scale this object here according to a requirement. But suppose if you will not change your anchor point. So this will scale your object from this center and this will also actually mismatch at this point position. So again just simply select this selection tools here. Now just we have to check. So little bit just scale this object according to a requirement. So now here if you will see so this 2D element just I have placed into over this scene here and this is just moving according to over this camera movements here. Then same age if you want you can also place any 3D object. So for this just I am going to just create a 3D object inside After Effects. So what we can do. So again and now press Ctrl Y and just create new solid here. So here I have selected this solid then go to effects and just take this element. So with the element just you can import any 3D object even just you can create any 3D object inside element 3D. So before starting further work so again just we have to click on file and save. Now after this just we have to click on the scene setup and just create any 3D object. So here I have created this 3D object. Then after this just we have to click on this alignment and just select this bottom here. So here I have just placed this anchor point at bottom. Even if you want you can also just click on this normal size here. Then after this just we have to click on OK. So now here if you will see this is actually 3D object which is little bit too large here. So for this what we can do. So again just I have selected about this solid. Then go to this group 1. Then downside you will get this create group null. And just simply just create a null object. So this will just create a null object from this solid here or from this element 3D. So again just we have to select this null and just move near to the just this point here. So after this what we can do because just we have to play the 3D object at this point position here. So again same thing just we have to connect this null object with our this point here. So again hold shift and just connect this null group or group null layer with this point 8 here. So hold shift and just take this pick width and just connect with these points here. So now if you will see here so this object automatically just I place at this point position. Then after this just we can scale it here again and just move little bit this right side here. So now if you will see here actually this object is disappearing from this actually compositions here. So this is actually due to near for a clip here. So for this what we can do. So again just we have to select this solid layer then go to this element. So downside just you will get this render settings. Then inside this you will get this camera cut off. So just we have to open this way. So you will get this camera near plane or camera far plane. So, just, so near plane just make it fun. So now there is no any clipping plane problem. Now just simply just we can play and check.
So now guys here, if you will see, so simply just type imported this 3D as a camera data inside After Effects and also just I have placed some 2D or 3D object inside this compositions here. So like this just you can place any object inside this After Effects here. So guys if you like this video please watch, share, comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So thanks for watching.